Alright, welcome back to Audio Describe Gaming. I'm your host, Matt. Playing some nice The Old Republic. Just got my lightsabers fixed up. Uh, solved, well, quote-unquote solved, a blood feud. Um, the two guys still hate each other, but at least their kids are happy, so that's nice. Um, let's keep uh, going around, see if we can find the last of the Mandalorians to kill. Oh, there's that lady with the droid. Let's uh, let her know that we destroyed her droid. My droid is still missing. Alright, um... Your droid had to be destroyed. My droid? Destroyed? No. No, this cannot be happening. I can't bear to live without him. She just walked off. Don't worry, it'll end well for her. And I don't mean that sarcastically, it's going to end well for her. Alright. Let's keep moving. See if we can find the, that last group of Mandalorians. I think they'll be at one of the areas that I was at before, so I will check the areas where I've... You know, I think they'll be at the Grove. I just have an inkling. I don't know, it's been a while since I've played this, but I have played it a bunch of times, so. Um, let's go over here. I'll check all the grounds. Oh yeah, there's a group of Mandalorians here. Sweet. Oh, let's kill this Cath Hound first since it's going to attack us. Ooh, I leveled. Alright, uh, level up. Attributes. Level up the way that they automatically do. Skills. Alright, powers. What is the recommended power? Force Cure? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Alright, so now I have a healing ability. It's not just Bastila this time. Alright, there's the Mandalorians. Let's talk to him. Ah, so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Alright, let's kill these things. There's a Duros here. Let's get rid of them first. They're weak. Bastila, let's do some buffs. Alright, I killed their leader. Let's take out their, uh, their secondary. Alright, that's it for the Mandalorians plaguing Dantooine. Ooh, they got a blue lightsaber and a red lightsaber. Dang, he already killed two Jedi. Well, he won't be doing that anymore. He's dead. Alright. Now, let's just uh, head back and let the uh, let that one guy, John, know that we... Uh, that we got rid of the Mandalorians. And then we'll tackle the ruins. And then I'm going to do one last look around the temple. Alright, we're back at the Jedi Temple, we're just outside of it. We'll head inside in a sec here. Alright, let John know that we got rid of the Mandalorians for him. Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, 
All right, I killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. There's no need for a reward. No, please take again. I thank you. All right, well, I got some light side points and a thousand credits. Not too shabby. Let's, uh, I'm gonna do one last, like I said, one last look around the temple. See if there's anything else I need to do, and then I'm going to head straight for the ruins. Let's see, there's that Pazak player. Oh. There's the lady with the droid. I... I took the loss of my droid much too hard. I feel I must apologize. There's no need. But I must. I was much too attached to my droid. It was all that was left of my husband, you see. Maybe I thought that through the droid, my husband could live again, be with me still. I think we understand. Love can do strange things to anyone. But I went too far. I could not see what was missing in living a normal life. Fortunately, in my grief, I returned here and ran into Samt, an absolutely fascinating man. He seems quite nice. Samt and I got to talking and, well, we have a lot in common. I think we'll be seeing more of each other. It's funny how things work out in the end. Maybe there is such a thing as fate, after all. But I think we should be going now. We have so much more to talk about. I just wanted to thank you for what you've done for me and what you tried to do. Goodbye, and thank you. No problem. What's up, Samt? Oh, I can't talk to him. Oh, well. Alright. Well, that was fun. Let's head for the ruins. How am I on my alignment? I'm almost completely light side maxed out. It's nice. Okay. Actually, I'm going to switch. Ooh, Mission can wear a Jedi robe now. And I don't have any for Bastila. Oh, well. All right, Mission, you look a little better now. Look more like, look more the part. All right. Straight for the ruins. No more sidetracks. Ooh, calf hound. All right, we'll have to kill these along the way. There's another one up there. It's crazy what those upgrades have done for my lightsabers. I'm actually quite a bit stronger. Jedi Guardian is really the way to go, because they're pretty tough with lightsabers. The only thing about the other ones, um, the ones that use the Force a lot more, is that if they're fighting other Force users, there's a lot more resistance. With lightsabers, you, you're pretty much awesome no matter what. Alright, so the ruins. It looks like ruins built into a hill. They're all made of stone. Alright, let's go in. the door just kind of unfolds. It's like if you took your hand, put your fingers, like, mesh them with the others. It's like they just pulled apart. That's kind of what it looks like. So let's go into the ruins. Ooh, there's, like, mist at the bottom. And then it's all, like, dark stone carved into little rectangular features. It's kind of neat. Open up the next door. There's a droid here. Says, the droid is speaking a language I don't recognize. Alright, what language is that? What are you trying to say? Speaking another language I don't recognize. 
I still don't understand you. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. I can reproduce any of the languages spoken by the slaves of the builders. Ooh, I understood that one. I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. Why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? Communication was vital to ensure the slaves constructed this temple according to the wishes of the builders. But you are not of the slave species, neither are you of the builders. You are like the one who came before. You must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Are you some type of guardian? I am the overseer. The builders programmed me to enforce discipline among the slaves while this monument to the power of the Star Forge was constructed. At project completion, all slaves were executed. I was programmed to serve should, to serve should a builder return in search of knowledge of the Star Forge. Uh, what's the Star Forge? The Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. Well, yeah, but what is it? The the Star Forge is the glory of the Builders, the apex of their infinite empire. It is a machine of invincible might, a tool of unstoppable conquest. The droid is obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Star Forge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. In fact, it could be anything. Could it have been a factory or weapons plant? Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Star Forge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. Uh, who are the Builders? The Builders are the great masters of the galaxy, the conquerors of all worlds, the rulers of the infinite empire, and the creators of the Star Forge. These Builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. So some ancient empire from a long time ago. Something must have happened to wipe the Builders out. The Empire of the Builders is infinite and everlasting. None can stand against their might and the power of the Star Forge. Have you seen a Builder recently? I have been here ever since the completion of this monument, and all this time no Builder has returned to seek information on the Star Forge. How long have you been here? My chronological circuits have marked over ten full revolutions of this system's outermost planet around the sun since the Builders left. Ten revolutions would take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. There is no mistake. The Builders constructed my chronological circuitry using the technology of the Star Forge itself. My calculations are infallible. So some ancient empire that existed 5,000 years before the Republic, so 25,000 years ago, uh, built all these buildings all around the galaxy and constructed something called a Star Forge, and they seem to be very into themselves. Alright, uh, tell me about Revan and Malak, the ones who came before us. The ones who came before you, the ones like you, not builders, but not slaves, sought knowledge of the Star Forge and its origins. They proved themselves worthy. They discovered the secrets of the Star Forge, locked beyond the sealed door behind me, but there was another who failed to unlock the secrets and paid the ultimate price. Yeah, there's a corpse here. The droid must be talking about poor Nemo. The council sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. He was a nice guy. Did you kill the Jedi over there? I am not programmed for combat. I did not harm the one who failed. This temple's own protections will destroy those who seek knowledge of the Star Forge if they are deemed unworthy. How can I prove myself worthy? Enter the Proving Grounds to the east and west. Within them, those who understand the will of the Builders can unlock their secrets and open the doors. But those who fail will be destroyed by the power of the temple itself. More than this, I am not programmed to say. Revan and Malak unlocked the sealed door and uncovered the secrets of the Star Forge. Now Malak is using the Star Forge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Star Forge. The Republic is depending on us. So Revan and Malak must have found whatever this Star Forge thing is, and they're using it to 
power their empire somehow. Ooh, I got a new Jedi Knight robe and a crystal from Nemo. Let me see. And the blue Jedi robe looks way cooler, but I'll stick with mine because it's technically stronger. I'll give this new robe to Bastila. Ooh, it's blue. It's pretty cool. Sure. Anyway, all right. Let's open these doors and prove ourselves worthy. There's droids in here that we can fight. Ooh, this one's a little tougher than your average run-of-the-mill droid. Can I spin it around? It seems to be resistant to my force powers. What can I do? I'll have uh, Bastila buff us a little bit. Yep. Let me throw a grenade at this thing. Hopefully we won't catch the blast. I don't know. Oh yeah, okay, friendly fire is a thing in this game. I forgot. Alright, I did some healing. Let's just fight this thing. Alright, I'm causing a little bit more damage to it. This thing has pretty high defense. It's the same kind of droid as the uh, one from outside. Just weird little cone-shaped thing with spider legs. It's got a little blaster. It's not causing much damage to us, which is good. But we're also barely causing any damage to it. Oof, I'm starting to run low on health. Let me heal myself. Come on, yes. Bastila, go around it. Attack from this side. Use a disabled droid ability. Huh? Alright, now mission can hit it. Sure. Oh my god, Bastila, hit it. That hurt, I bet. That hurt, I bet. Bastila is not attacking it for whatever reason. Maybe it's too cramped in here. But me and Mission got this. Alright, well, I killed it. It better have parts or something in it. Can I loot it? No, it's got nothing. Ooh, this, this wreck droid does, though. Got some good stuff. Alright, so there's a terminal here. Let's see. The ancient computer hums and throbs as you approach it. In its, oh, its screen flickers to life and a stream of incomprehensible characters scrawl across it. Alright, well, let's talk to the computer. It goes silent. A few unusual characters appear on the screen. It emits a rapid series of tones. You hear when those tones softly echoed by your data pad. A receptacle opens in front of the ancient machine. Okay, let's insert the data pad in. It seems to be interfacing with the data pad. The screen goes blank and more familiar characters appear on the screen. Ugh. Press a button. Talk to the computer. Oh, data interpretation and language analysis complete. Identify the three primary life-giving seed world types. So grassland, arboreal, oceanic. Alright, planetary type conducive to life breaking the seal. All right, so it looks like I was able to solve something. So now let's go through the other door and solve that puzzle. And then I should be able to get in and find out about the Star Forge. All right, there's another one of those guardian droids in here. Hopefully, oh, it's got a shield. Alright, I'm going to take control of Bastila, have her do some buffs, and then see if she can disable the droid using the force. Barely does anything. It's still doing something though, I'll queue up a bunch of those. It doesn't cause that, it doesn't cost that much force power either, so. Sure. Alright, me. Let me cure myself, and then I'll start using lightsabers against this droid. There we go, I killed it. These droids are tough. Alright, let's use the ancient terminal again. Alright, so let's talk to the computer, insert my data pad, talk to the computer again. Alright, the primary death-giving world types. So desert, volcanic, barren. 
Alright, so it broke the death seal. So now, I should be able to get in. I think I solved that problem. Alright, so let's open the main door. Hmm, there's another just empty room in here. Well, let's open the next door. Let's see what we got in here. I'm in some big chamber. There's some type of folded, like it's like a three-pronged spire, like a little thing in the middle of the room. Let me take a look at it. So the three prongs are unfolding like a flower and there's a little orb in the middle. Uh, this is the thing that Revan and Malik found in the vision. So the orb is coming up and it's displaying some kind of map of the galaxy. So it's a hologram. This must be what Revan and Malik found when they entered this temple. This must be where their journey down the dark side began. So what, is this the Star Forge? This is a, a map, some sort of intergalactic navigational chart. Revan and Malik must have used this to lead them to the Star Forge. We could use this map to follow their path and find the Star Forge ourselves, but we must be wary. They may have laid traps or concealed what they found. So, what does the Star Forge do? I, I don't know, but Revan and Malik were very interested in finding it. It must be a tool of some type, or maybe a weapon. Perhaps the Council can tell us more, but I think this map might be the key to finding the Star Forge. Whatever it is. See this world here? This looks like Korriban, a Sith world. And if that's Korriban, then this is Kashek and Tatooine. And here's Manan. But there are pieces missing. Incomplete hyperspace coordinates, corrupted data. And there doesn't seem to be anything indicating where the Star Forge itself might be. So we can go to those worlds, triangulate our triangulate the position of the Star Forge essentially. So this is just a fragment of the map. I was thinking that too. This map can't take us to the Star Forge, but I know that Revan and Malik visited Korriban at least once. Perhaps they discovered something more there. They may have found something on each of the other worlds that completed this map. Maybe if we find all the pieces, they'll lead us to the Star Forge and some way to destroy it. We must inform the Council of what we've discovered. They must decide our next course of action, though I suspect our task has only just begun. All right, well, let's head back to the temple then. Looks like we found what we were looking for. Let me take a closer look at this map. So yeah, it's a map of the galaxy. And yeah, coordinates for those other four planets. So there's five of these things in, to in total, most likely. One of them's controlled by a Sith, or, or by the Sith, I should say. Uh, can I just rapid transit back? No, I have to be outside. So I know which worlds I should go to first. Uh, I'll let you know why. There's, I, I can really go to them in any order, but well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's go back to the council and talk to them first. All right. Back to the temple. Oh, let's talk to Bastila. How can I help? You look like something's bothering you. No, not bothering you. Not exactly. I've been thinking about what the Jedi Council said about the two of us. There is a bond between us, I do not dispute that. I can feel it, as I'm sure you can. The nature of that bond and its effect on our mission remain in question. Um, I still don't understand it. Our fates are strongly connected. So connected that a literal bond has been forged between us. I saw your service records when you were transferred aboard the Ender Spire, but nothing beyond that. I know very little about you. I'd like to ask you some questions, given our relationship. Sure. Don't worry. These are simple questions. Nothing too intrusive. First, what kind of background do you have? Nothing extra... Uh, nothing ex extravagant. I'm a soldier. Good. On which planet were you born? Doralia. It's in a remote system. Why? Excellent. The current age is? Um, wasn't all this in my service records? Yes. Well... The truth is, I was studying how you responded to my questions. Your reactions helped me judge you. This was a test for me to learn more about your character. What did you find out? You were honest, which is good. And you treated this as a serious matter, which it is. This bond we share will shape both our destinies. It is not to be taken lightly. But I imagine you've had enough questions for a while. So many things have happened to you since Taurus. It's probably a lot for you to absorb. We can speak again later, after you've had time to think about all this. Sounds good. Oh, let's keep moving. 
I'm going to talk to this guy that has the missing girl. See what he says. Um... Let's see, um, is this something the local authority should handle? Dantooine has little in the way of local authorities. I asked the Jedi of the Enclave to intervene, but they have far more pressing concerns to attend to. As is often the way on this planet, if a citizen wishes to accomplish something, they must seek to do it themselves. Is there anything of interest on Dantooine you can tell me about? No large urban center, natural habitats... Yeah, anyway, there's, there's really nothing, so I'm just gonna keep looking for that girl. See if I can eventually find her. But let's talk to the council, let them know what we found. And then we'll see what the next move is, if we can go to these planets right away and see if we can find other maps. Ah, you have returned, young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? We found an incomplete star map and a mention of something called a Star Forge. This news of a Star Forge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Star Forge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi, no victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this star forge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Star Forge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Star Forge is surely a powerful tool of the dark side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets, but it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Star Forge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. Yep, yeah, I'm ready to do it. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Am I to undertake this task alone? Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. But it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Nice. Johanny nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. There are others I want to join me. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi. Nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you. A safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can count on me. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. All right, well, I'm gonna tool my lightsaber real quick. That's not a euphemism, I'm just gonna add another crystal to it. 
and let me see where is it attack bonus yeah why not and then I, I can always remove that stuff later let me see can I upgrade my Jedi robes no I can't oh well Check my journal, see if there's anything else. Nope, we've done everything that we can do here. Oh, there's Deesra. There are rumors about your most recent meeting with the Council. There's talk they're sending you on a mission to help us against Malak and the Sith. Um, I don't think the Council would want me to speak openly of it. Please understand, I'm not asking you to reveal anything that could endanger the Order or the Republic. Whatever task the Council has given you is for your ears, not mine. I only wanted to wish you well and to warn you to be careful. There are many evils out there, many dangers. The Sith are not the only minions of the Dark Side. What else? Master Dorak has been training me to succeed him as chronicler here in the Academy. In my studies, I've come across tales of creatures that are born of the dark side, monsters of pure evil. The worst of these abominations is the Terran a beast that feeds, and, that feeds on the blood of those who are strong in the Force. Over the centuries, many Jedi have fallen to their ravenous hunger. What makes this creature so dangerous? The Terran Tattic is a predator, and we Jedi are its prey. They're incredibly strong with a primal cunning, and they have an inborn resistance to the Force. There are some who believe the Terran Tattic is a monster bred by the ancient Sith and spread throughout the galaxy to help destroy the Jedi. The Terran Tattic is quite rare, they only dwell in the most dangerous and darkest of places. In fact, one has not been seen in nearly 40 years. Sounds like they're extinct. Many, this is not the first time the Terran Tattic have vanished for long periods of time. Many believe they can lay dormant for years only to rise and hunt when the power of the dark side waxes full. I fear Malak's rise may have woken these creatures from their dormant state. Once the Sith are beaten out, not be surprised if the Council organized another great hunt to try and exterminate them. Great hunt? The Great Hunt was organized by the Jedi Council shortly after the war against Exar Kun. Jedi were scattered throughout the galaxy, helping to rebuild from the devastation. Many Jedi vanished during this period, disappearing from a variety of worlds without warning. We did not know they'd been slain until their mutilated bodies began to be discovered. The Council investigated and discovered the Terran Tattic were behind the killings. It was decided the galaxy had to be purged of these insatiable monsters, though the cost proved high. What cost? Many Jedi banded together and journeyed to the planets that were suspected of harboring the Terran Tattic. The Great Hunt did not rest until all the creatures had been slain, or almost all. There were still rumors of Terran Tattic on the planet of Korriban, a dark world some believed to be the birthplace of the Sith. That's where Exar Kun was corrupted during the First Sith War. They never went to Korriban. The Council, fearing more might fall to the dark side, declared the Great Hunt was officially over, though three Jedi were appointed to continue the work. Well, what was so special about those three? The Jedi chosen to continue the hunt on their own were Duran Keldroma, Gunhan Serish, and Shayla Nur. These three shared a powerful bond, and each of them was devoted to the light. The Counselor felt together they would be able to defeat any Terran Tattic they found, and by supporting each other they could resist the temptations of Korriban and the lure of the dark side. But none of the three survived. Their master felt them become one with the Force when they left this world. He believed they were slain by one of the monsters they sought. The Council felt it was too dangerous to send anyone else in search of their remains so their exact fate is not known but let their death serve as a warning to you padawan all righty well let's head to my oh uh no i don't want to talk to him again all right i'm gonna head to my ship and then we'll end the episode and we'll head to our first planet oh let's oh let's talk to mission first hey there what can i do for you i want to talk to you about your brother I was a little snappish when we last talked. I'm sorry about that. I get a little touchy when it comes to Griff. It's kind of embarrassing telling people about him. Why? It's complicated. Griff wasn't the most popular guy. He had his faults. But I still loved him, you know? Sometimes people don't understand. I never knew my parents. My brother always looked out for me. He's the one who brought me here to Tars. I was just a kid, only five. But I remember the trip. If you could call it that. We were stuffed inside a packing crate in a Starfighter's cargo hold with just enough food and water to make the trip. Not exactly first class, you know? You were stowaways. I don't know the whole story. I was pretty young, but my brother owed a lot of money. 
Might even have been a few arrest warrants out for him, I don't know. The only way to get off the planet was to smuggle ourselves out. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like we were criminals. Well, maybe my brother was. See, this is why I don't like to talk about it. It makes Griff sound worse than he really was. My brother had his problems, but he always looked out for me. What kind of problems did he have? He gambled and drank, and he was always borrowing money for his latest get-rich-quick scheme. But he had a good heart, you know? He taught me how to survive. He showed me how to slice into a computer security system, how to get inside a locked building without the entrance codes, and how to spot a wealthy mark for a quick shell game. Sounds pretty handy. Yeah, Griff did right by me. I really miss him since he left. I keep hoping he'll come back someday. He promised me he would. Why did he leave? He fell in with a bad crowd. It's all Lena's fault. She's the one who took him from me. Just batted those long lashes at him and off he went. Who's Lena? I don't want to talk about Griff and Lena. Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. Subject's closed as far as I'm concerned. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? No. Okay, have it your way. Interesting, learn a little more about missions past. All right. Well, we're on the ship. You know, I haven't really toured the ship. You know, we'll tour the ship in the next episode, so I will see you guys later.